Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, April 14th, and it's a little overcast, but you know what they say about April showers? They bring May flowers. Um, hope you're all having a great weekend. I am smoking this little basket pipe billiard that I'm quite fond of, uh, and I am smoking some walnut which I am also quite fond of. Uh, been a busy weekend. I, um, <laughs> they're all busy. I, if you uh, saw my Friday uh, driving video, uh, we, we had a surprise where my wife's car broke down and <clears throat> turned out it needed a starter. I thought it was the ignition switch. The guy at the shop thought it was the ignition switch, but it actually wasn't. It was it was the starter. So she was uh, doing a um, two-day class this weekend, uh, about 20 minutes from here. So I thought I was going to have the weekend free to do all the stuff that I wanted to do. But yesterday I had to drive her to the to the class, and I had to pick her up and. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually, you know, oh, and then she was running a bunch of errands on Friday and the car broke down, so I had to run all the errands that needed to be run on Friday yesterday. So I wound up basically losing yesterday. I got a lot done, but not the things that I wanted to do. And then I th the, the car got repaired and it was available last night, so I picked it up and I thought, okay, great, she'll drive herself today. Everything's fine. And, and she she left and I I got started and about uh, oh, a few minutes before nine o'clock she calls me and very sheepishly says I, I left my lunch there it's a brown bag lunch thing so I had to take and I, and since she was in this class all the time I had to go right around uh, right before twelve and drop it off in her car so she could run out and get it when they when they had their break so I did that. Uh, took care of a few other things while I was out and uh, had some lunch and now I'm back. So it's a little bit later than usual but I wanted to make sure to get a, uh, a video in because I, I missed last week. It's very busy and uh, I'm not going to be doing anything next week because it's uh, it's Holy Week, uh, you know, Good Friday and, uh, and Easter Sunday. So you won't be seeing me until the following week then. Uh, almost lost my later. So this will this will be it for a bit. And I don't have a lot of things to update you on, really. It's uh, it's just been one of those times where I've got a lot of work stuff to do, and then a lot of you know, personal stuff like house repair type stuff and, and car repair and and then of course got a lot of pipe work going on and I just haven't had a minute to to really think about very much. Um, and you know, I, I like to sleep at night so. Uh, but I, w I will tell you uh, a couple things. I mean, g good news is that this week, later this week, I believe I am finally going to order the new lights for the shop. And I'm excited about this. This is the first step. And I know you're probably thinking, boy, this guy's been talking about this shop renovation for months. Just get on with it. And, and yeah, I, I agree. But the truth is that the, my shop has kind of grown organically over time. And it's a mess. And there's things that are it's very inefficient. I probably am about 10 years overdue in, in doing this, this renovation or remodeling or whatever you want to call it, reorganization. Uh, the lighting down here is terrible. I mean, I've got incandescent bulb. I got a combination of incandescence and fluorescence and everything. This looks good because right now I've got two of those uh, clamp-on lights, one on either side, and I actually have a large LED panel that I made right up above here, and that's for when I'm doing the overhead shots of the pipe restoration stuff. That provides like a, a wash of light. Uh, that's that's pretty useful. But outside of this little section that you're seeing here, it's it's actually quite dimly lit, and it's it's all incandescent bulbs and a few fluorescent fixtures. So I'm going to put in a lot of LED lights, and the amazing thing is I'm going to be able to, you know, put in a ridiculous number of these things relatively inexpensively, and after it's all done, 
the current draw is going to be the equivalent of what one 100 watt incandescent bulb would draw. Now, I, I have to admit I don't like the quality of the light as much. I'm going with a, a soft white. The, the color uh, color value is, is like 4700, I think. I didn't want to go with the 5000, 6000 range because that's just too harsh. So this is going to be a little bit softer. But uh, I, I really prefer the incandescent bulbs for just the warmth of the of the light. But you know, got got to get more light. And I think I might be making a bit of a mistake by doing this before I get the cataracts taken care of because I probably right now need more light than I'm going to need. But that's okay. It doesn't hurt to have too much light. And I'm probably going to set these up so that. About half of them, I, I can turn them on separate switches, so I can turn on all the lights or half and half. And I, I don't know exactly how that's going to get arranged yet. But anyway, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to I'm going to order those later this week and uh, start putting them up. And that's the first step, and then lots of other things. I think right now the way I'm I'm planning to organize it, I think all this stuff behind me is going to go away. Uh, I'm probably going to turn this back wall into a storage, um, uh, the wall where I put my wood rack and have storage back here and then the stuff that I'm looking at right now that you can't see, uh, that's where uh, the rest of the, like the tools and things are, are going to be. And I'm not going to do the tool hanging thing that you see behind me, not that that's ever been really well worked out anyway, but I think I'm going to go with a tool chest. Um, just because it, it does get dusty down here, and I, I, I just like keeping things in something if I can. And I can get a lot of storage out of a tool chest. I can wheel it around. <clears throat> so that that's what I think I'm going to go for. Anyway, lots of lots of fun stuff on the horizon. Uh, I got a I got a <laughs> what is it for you? I know what it is, but uh, I, I went to I've been going on Saturdays to a local flea market and I just spend about I don't know a half an hour or so there it's it's not that big and you can uh, I'm sure many of you know how this works you you have the ability to just kind of scan and find the rusty metal <laughs> and that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for tools <clears throat> and you find them in a sea of used clothing and books and a lot of DVDs, uh, boy, a heck of a lot of DVDs. So anyway, I'm scanning around and and uh, and I find the, the the rusty metal and and I I usually want yeah you know, I I don't if I, if I buy one more saw I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't need any more saws. But you see these beautiful distants from you know like 1890 1910 and they're just they're selling them for like two dollars, five dollars. I I just can't pass that up. Uh, but I don't need them. I guess I could I could sort of recondition them, get them sharpened, and and put them up on eBay or something. But uh, at least then I know whoever buys it is going to use it or collect it. It's okay if they collect it. I just don't. I've seen these things like hanging up with pe people paint on them, and it's just it's just terrible. These are beautiful tools, and they work really well. So anyway, as I was hunting around, I came across this, and I have never seen one of these before, but I immediately, when I realized what it was, knew that I had to have it. And this beautiful little piece of metal cost me two dollars, so not too bad. So at this end, it is quite obviously a little chuck. See that? opens up there and you can put a small drill bit in that and close it up. But on this end there's this unusual sort of rectangular uh, but, but beveled piece. What do you think that is? I'm not going to tell you. You let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't have a prize, but uh, you'll, you'll have the praise and uh, 
acclamation of, of all your peers if you can guess what this is for. And, and this is assuming that I'm actually correct in what I think it's for. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty glad to have this. It's one of these things that I will hardly ever need, but I've got one. All right, folks. I, I uh, like I said, I got a lot to do today, and I really don't have a lot to uh, to chat about. Um, other than I want to wish you all the best for the next the, the coming uh, few weeks, uh, since I won't be around next week. If you're um, celebrating Easter, then have a have a very blessed Easter, a good Holy Week, and um, you know, in, in, enjoy the the week ahead. If you're not, have a good week anyway. All right, friends. With that, I will say goodbye. I uh, hope you all take care. And until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.